Hi YouTube, it's me, KMC Stilo. I'm gonna be trying to make this brief. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So excited because I um I found a lot of cute um stickers that I wanted to share with you guys, as well as some other goodies. <clears throat> and today's my day off, so I wanted to film this video for you guys before I get to work on my uh, to dos for today. So let's just get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to share with you guys is this Infusium 23 leave-in treatment. Um, I'm so excited that I finally found this one because I've seen it, uh, people on Instagram and here on YouTube haul it. And um, I hadn't seen it at all in my Dollar Tree. I only have a one Dollar Tree that's near me and it's really not that near me because it's a bit far off. But... I mean, it's the closest one that I can get to using transporta public transportation because I don't have a car. Uh, but I was excited to finally find it because I've always used um, the Infusion 23 leave-in um, treatment. I used to use the gray. I've, I, have, I guess this is a new one because I always used to use the old-fashioned one, the one that came in like the silver gray bottle. And what I would do is I would mix it. I would put it in a spray bottle and mix it with a little bit of water and I would in the summer when I wash my hair I usually just let it air dry and I would just spray that in my hair um, and then let's say on day two um, I would just spray some of it in my hair to just kind of spice up my curls and and just leave it in there so I love these and I was actually running out of the my last one that I had so I'm glad that I finally found these and these say that they're let's see if it'll focus uh, these say that they're color defender defender so they they're good for colored hair which I do dye my hair and it says to vitalize and preserve color treated hair which is perfect and it's 100% sulfate free which is also really good for your hair so i actually they only had like a few left but as i said i don't have a car so i usually use trans uh, put walk or and use tra public transportation to get to this place and i didn't want to buy too much heavy stuff so i just basically only bought um two of those and usually they last me a good time because as i said like i do mix them with water um and because when you put too much when you put like a concentrated leave-in conditioner in your hair it tends to make your hair a little hard and I do not like that at all I stopped using um I stopped using gel hairspray mousse any of those products that you people usually put in their hair so that their hair kind of stays in a certain hairstyle I've never liked them because they make my hair hard and I don't like to I don't like to touch my hair and then feel my hair hard so with any even with something like this which I'm guessing this doesn't have um alcohol so even something like this will leave your hair hard if you use it concentrated so I always mix it with water and I just noticed that this has castor oil so that's pretty good because that castor oil is a great oil for your hair for your body for your face for anything and then another thing that I got, which I thought I grabbed to bring it here. It's another hair product, but I guess I left it in the bathroom. Actually, I thought it was, I grabbed this one real quick thinking that it was. I bought the um, Dollar Tree tea gel, like Neutrogena tea gel shampoo um, brand that they have in Dollar Tree. Uh, it smells kind of funky so if you guys know which one I'm talking about it's for psoriasis dandruff and stuff like that and it looks like really dark if you guys know which one I'm talking about let me know if you guys have used it and, <clears throat> and if it worked because it does smell kind of funky and the smell kind of threw me off but I do know that there was a product that we bought um two years ago when I went to Dominican Republic that it was for dandruff and it also had that really foul like gasoline type of smell so I don't know if maybe whatever medication they put in those shampoos for dandruff and psoriasis and stuff it's what gives it that foul smell but if you guys have used the Dollar Tree um, knockoff of the Neutrogena tea gel 
shampoo um please let me know um how good it is and if it actually works if i should actually use it and then this by mistake i grabbed this one so this i did not uh, find <clears throat> in the dollar tree this i bought in my walgreens and i just kind of grabbed it real quick last night to share the whole with you guys and i thought it was that um, the knockoff Neutrogena tea gel shampoo but it's actually this one but if you guys are interested this is by thicker fuller hair it has caffeine and it's a re revitalizing shampoo it thickens threatens and replenishes and um, my hair has been falling out a lot it's been falling out a lot for quite some time last year I kind of got it under control for a, a bit um, I was taking biotin and it was helping me out a lot and then I just kind of got lazy and stopped taking the biotin and kept forgetting to take it and so I just completely like went off track and my hair just went back to falling out a lot so right now I'm trying to get back on track taking uh, biotin and taking better care of my hair and buying stuff that will um, strength strengthen it and this was on sale like two weeks ago or a week ago in Walgreens for $2.99 so I picked it up but back to the um, Dollar Tree haul that I'm so excited to share with you guys. Um, let me just, sh I'm just going to grab stuff out of the bag. Um, they have these sunglass clip holder. Um, I use sunglasses, I have a sunglasses collection. That's how much I use sunglasses in the summer. Like, I wear contacts and um, I'm nearsighted. So my eyesight my eyes are like pretty sensitive to light um and especially in the summer the s lately like the sun gets really really strong and i need to wear sunglasses um every single day especially if it's sunny so um i bought this sunglass clip holder i'm not really sure how to use it if you guys have seen a video on here of someone um showing how to use these let me know but I'm guessing you clip this either to your purse or your pants or something and then you clip the um your glasses onto here because it does have like a little bit I don't know if it's gonna show because it's dark in here but it has like a little bit of foam right there and excuse my nails they're like just they have been breaking all over the place I haven't had time to do them um but yeah I bought one of these just to try them out so I can um, try them out in the summer see if it makes it easier to clip and then in my last haul if you guys remember I bought one of these bag of chips and I even told you guys that I was going to hide it from my son so that he wouldn't eat it because this is actually the third time that I'm buying this bag of chips and I have yet to try them out because the first two times, I think the first time that I tried, bought them, I tried them out, I think. But my son ate it all before I could um, eat some more. And then the last video that I filmed <clears throat> showing these, <clears throat> I forgot to hide them in my room like I said I was going to. So he wouldn't eat the whole bag before I got a chance to eat it. And um, instead I left it on top of the refrigerator and I thought maybe that was hiding it enough well it turned out no because that is also where I keep the cereal and he does eat cereal so he must have seen it he ate the whole entire bag and then by the time I remembered I had even bought it <clears throat> it was completely gone so I bought another one of these and yesterday when I brought it home he actually looked through the bags and he was like oh you bought another bag of chips and I'm like no don't even think about it I'm definitely gonna have some of this one you're not gonna eat the whole bag I mean, growing boys, oh my God, it's like, he never gets full, and he eats everything, and it's like, he thinks I, I'm not human, like, he must think that I don't eat, I don't know, but, um, I bought these, these are so cute, they had them, I'm not sure if I've, no if I've seen them before, I just know that, um, I finally picked them up, and these are toothbrush holders, I love, um, toothbrush holders, because um i use them on my toothbrushes i like to just keep my toothbrushes protected and they're also good like if you're gonna 
travel with your toothbrush as well. I got a, the ladybug one for me and I got um, the doggy for him and he actually saw that one and he was like, oh my god, can I use it now? And I was like, no, because I just, you're using one right, the one you're using right now is still good. So that's, we're not going to change it yet. <clears throat> and then, um, of course, I had to get um, my snacks that you guys know that I love that I used to make my trail mixes with so um, I got some flower seeds and I got banana chips and I'm gonna have to go to deals one of these days because for some reason the Dollar Tree that I go to doesn't have the almonds and um, in deals they do they do have like a little almond bag almonds bag so <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go one of these days on my way home from work and pick up one of those and then they also had these I believe these were by the register and I want I love um, fruit snacks so um, I picked one of these up as well it brings six of them and um, I think it's grapes and raspberries if I'm not mistaken and it says that they're fat free and made from real fruit juice and I don't know I just love those <clears throat> when I craving candy like those are like the best things to eat and then I got another one of these Swiss Miss uh, Classic Marshmallows. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to have uh, some of this later on today. Because I've been craving some hot cocoa with marshmallows. <clears throat> and then, also food related, I got one of these. I was so excited because I finally, finally found it. I've been to the Dollar Tree for months now and I haven't found this and I like I actually like to cook with this it's powdered chicken flavored bouillon and um, I don't know if I'm saying it right and I always used to cook with this and I ran out of it so I was using the Maggie one which is like what Hispanics use but for some reason after I started um, using this one I preferred this one to the Maggie one but then every time I kept going to the Dollar Tree they didn't have it and when I went last night I figured out why there is a couple that goes there and buys let's say if they put out two boxes of these they actually buy the whole two boxes because they were walking around with their um with their cart with the two boxes of these in their cart and I was like oh okay so that's why I can't find any and then by chance it must have been that someone had grabbed one of these and left them in the wrong spot because I found this one like way off like where where they they're supposed to be and it was like the single one and I was so happy I was like yes you're mine and these come like how many ounces these are 4.16 ounces so it, and it comes full all the way to the top so this lasts me a while I love those I was so happy that I finally found it you guys have no idea and then I believe I don't know where it is though but I also did buy um the garlic powder as well because that, that's one of the two main um like seasonings that i buy from there the garlic powder and the chicken bu flavored bouillon which i'm glad i finally found and then i'm hoping that i put away the garlic powder one because it's not in these bags and then i finally i also found these um i saw these in a recent dollar tree haul that i watched these are these look like coffee cup cups and i've probably seen these before and thought that they were um coffee cups and that's why i didn't pick them up because i'm not like a huge um coffee drinker and then when i do make myself like the coffee exactly like really really like how i like it i have like a already like a plastic coffee cup that i can use to on the go so I never like picked any of these up because I didn't know that these were tissues. This is actually a tissue box in the shape of a coffee cup. And um, I saw a video the other day and a, a lady, you know, explained that, oh, these are tissue boxes in the shape. And I was like, oh my God, that it's so awesome. Like, I love it. And they had this one, which I thought was so wonderful. I mean, I would love to look at this every day and just kind of fantasize that I could be going to a heart-shaped island one day surrounded by such beautiful water <laughs> but yeah I just picked one up for now and I'm probably gonna put this on my um, vanity because I actually ran out of the tissues that I had on my vanity and I'm probably gonna keep repurposing it and keep using it um, as my tissue box 
and then um, they had these the satin pillowcases finally I have been wanting to buy some of these and um, I got them in red as you guys can see like right now my um, my covers are kind of like an orangey red so but I feel like they still match and because I've always heard that like silent pillowcases are really good for your hair they don't really tug or like mess up your hair at night so I wanted to give those a try I've never tried those and I have been curious about them and so now off to share with you guys the most exciting part of my home which is the stationary stuff I'm so 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 excited I just kind of went a little crazy like to be honest um, I didn't get paid until today and I didn't want to go today because today's my day off and I have a lot of things to do at home and stuff like laundry and a whole bunch of stuff here at home. So I didn't want to go today so I went yesterday and I hadn't gotten paid so I just took like a limited amount of money. And I was like afraid due to like all of the stationary stuff that I got that I wasn't going to have enough. And um, But I did and I'm so excited because I got everything that I wanted. They had these awesome journal notebooks um and if you guys have seen my um notebook collection i ha um i love to use these the ones that are like these for um journaling i love to use these as my diaries and i was so souped that they had them in so many colors so i got one in black and one in pink and one in blue and the texture is really really nice i can't ex i don't i can't really explain like what the texture is like but it's a really soft hard material and I just I really really love these I love the fact that they're so small and compact they have the little um, elastic to kind of close close them and I feel like they're just perfect for diaries and journaling because they don't take up that much space and you can take them with you on the go or leave them by your bedside at home and just kind of write in your daily journaling and they're just perfect and I just love them I had to get them in all the colors that I saw um, I would have been souped if they would have had them in red. I would have bought them in red too. Because you guys know like that's my favorite color. And then I finally picked up one of these. I had seen them before. And I was curious about them. But I didn't want to buy them just in case like they weren't that great. So um, I had been wa watching some Dollar Tree hauls um, the, in the last couple of weeks. Just to kind of see you know what was out there in Dollar Tree at the moment and you know what I would be worth me I like to watch those videos because it like people sometimes give like a small review and they let you know like if it's worth buying if it's not worth buying because even though it's a dollar like you just when sometimes when you try something out and it doesn't work out it's kind of like oh gosh you know like what do I do with this now just throw it out so I saw in a video that these were kind of okay um someone was just showing like how they write and stuff like that and so I just decided to finally pick one up and these are double sided markers and they have the thin tip on this side and then the thick one on the top and I'm um, gonna try these out maybe I'll use them for like doodling or something because that's that's a nice amount of colors and then before I get to this okay then I also picked up these uh, metallic gel pens um, lately or this year in my planner I've been using a metallic a silver metallic gel pen to write in um, on my to write in the dates on my undated inserts and I've been enjoying that very much so I did get two backups um, from Target the other day because the one that I'm using right now is from Target but they also had these in Dollar Tree so I figured like you know let me get another backup or maybe those write even nicer you never know <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> and then they had these which are double sided highlighter pens so I'm guessing on this side they're pens and then on the top side they're markers and the Link is black even though um, it has the colors blue purple and green but I guess it's to show like the color more for you to know the color of the highlighter than um, of the pen as well so I wanted to try these out and just kind of see if the pen writes nice I could always add those to my um, on-the-go stash 
for planning. And then they had these, these gel pens. I hadn't seen these before or seen anyone haul these. So um, I took the chance and just picked them up. Because I've bought gel pens before from Dollar Tree and they've come out to be decent. So I wanted to try these out because I love gel pens and I love to use them um, in my planner. And I'm hoping like these write nice because if the color payoff, usually with gel pens the color payoff is not that great. And that's what I don't like about the inexpensive ones. But maybe these work out well. If they do, I will let you guys know in case you guys want to pick these up. But they look kind of cute, don't they? And then, before I move on to the stickers, uh, is the last thing I'm going to show you guys. I saw these uh, blank note cards. They are so, so cute. I'm actually trying to put together a rack right now for someone. And um, I'm thinking of using one of these cards um, to, to just kind of write her a little note. Because they're just so cute and I love owls. And so now I'm going to show you guys all the stickers that I bought. I kind of went a little sticker crazy. And um, I think these are awesome. These are great for collage collages. They're great for cards. And they just kind of always grab my attention. And this one just is kind of like the family themed. It has like this clock and a home that's a hello, a lamp. So this one is just, it's beautiful. So I picked that one up. They had these, which they've been having these a lot lately, like the vacation themed ones. And I love this one. I love the train. It says Journey right there and that old fashioned car. Of course, I love that Eiffel Tower. And um, these are 3D stickers. But I'm hoping to be able to use some of these um, in my traveler's journal. Because um, if you guys saw on my Instagram at KMC Stilo, I not too long ago posted some happy mail that I got from AliExpress. I actually filmed a video, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be uploading it before this one or after this one. But I ordered some um, traveling journals from AliExpress and I love them. And I'm planning on setting up the regular sized one for next year. I'm going to be just making my own insert, like just customizing um, the notebooks for them to work out. For me as a planner so i was thinking of using some of those um traveling um 3d stickers to decorate the notebooks so hopefully like they won't um be too bulky they also had this one which i thought was also beautiful it says wonderful and then it just has these beautiful designs and the theme of this one i think is fantasy and I just thought like it was just so gorgeous. I have to figure out like what I'm going to use all these stickers for. Because <laughs> I just kind of went crazy. So I guess eventually I'm going to have to start like doing some type of um, mash albums or something. And they also had this one which was it's also like a traveling um, themed. It has like London right there. Paris with the Eiffel Tower, Dubai. It's just awesome. I love this one. It has like the passport and the camera. Oh my gosh. I think that's supposed to be, yeah, it's the Seven Wonders of the World, I believe, theme. But um, these are awesome. I could also use, uh, the, and these are not that, like, these are also 3D, but they're not that bulky. So I think that they, they will work out for my traveling journals. And they, I loved, loved, loved this one. This, the theme of this one, I think, is just, like, just relaxing because it says um, room, take a break. It has, like, a window kind of looking outside. And it has, like, birds with um, a tree that says love. So I loved the theme of this one. I wanted to get two of these. I'm not sure if, if I did, though. And... They also had this one, of course. I love, I love, love, love this one. The theme of it is life. And I just, I love the butterfly and the flowers, the bird. The words life on there are beautiful. So I think I'm going to end up making a collage. Because these are just so perfect for a collage. And I've never done one. I don't know that I would be good at it. Like, I, 
when it comes to certain things i can be creative but i don't like sometimes i feel like i'm not artistic creative so we'll see how that goes and then um they had these um little puffy stickers of like police cars and um fire um fire trucks and stuff like that so I picked that up I thought it was cute maybe um, I'll decorate one of my weeks with that theme and then they had these uh, stickers I don't think I've seen these before so I picked these up the little paws I thought they were so cute if I want to decorate one year with like the <clears throat> a doggy theme and I love dogs and then this reminds me of like that song what does the fox say because <laughs> uh, I don't know it just it's just so cute they're just so cute these little foxes so I'm gonna like just kind of do like a fun theme one day on my on my week on two pages of like the what does the fox say with the, these cute little fox stickers because I think they're just so funny and cute and they had these which I was excited about. I ended up getting one of each of these. And these are like borders. And these are perfect for cards. For decorating pages. Or planners. Or notebooks. These are awesome. So I got one of each design. They had that one. That design. The hearts design. They had this one with a crown. And bows. And they had this one with. I believe these are butterflies at the end. And flowers. Um, they had this one with, um, I think, little flowers and butterflies as well. It's like another different design. I just kind of got one of each design. And they had this one of stars. <clears throat> and then they had these um, awesome paper tape stickers. And I just could not help myself. And I got... I think I got almost one of each. I think there was only one design that I didn't get. But they had these which are so, so cute. Um, but they only bring 16. So I don't know. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So they only bring two sheets. Which is, I mean, it's not bad. But I thought this was so, so cute. Of course, you guys know. Let me see if it'll focus that I love the owl one. I thought, I think it's so adorable. But those are the designs right there. And I believe I picked up two of these because I, I needed to have a few, like, more than one sh uh, set of these owl ones because they're just so adorable. They had also this design. And as you guys can, if you guys can tell, um, some of these, as I said, they're like paper tape stickers. And as you guys can tell, like, some of the washi tape that Dollar Tree had are, like, on here as well like as but they just have glitter like they had a washi tape that was like this one but just the difference is that this one has glitter and instead of being on a roll it's just kind of like flat on the flat piece of paper but this i thought this set was also beautiful they also had this set which i thought this one was cute with the candy like saying i love the flowers are gorgeous as well just like the whole um, set is gorgeous. They had this one which I loved because of the bears. It's this colorful bear. And then they have like this one that says birthday. So that one's really nice for like a birthday card or something like that. But just the one that um, I love the most on this set is the, the bear one. I think it's so so cute. And of course... Um, I picked up, as I said, like my two favorite designs were these. So I picked up backups of the owl ones and the ones with like the birds and stuff like that. So that's the only one that I think I picked um, 